I'm Nathan Olivares Giles, technology reporter with the Los Angeles Times, and this is the Windows Developer Preview Tablet PC from Samsung. Now, this isn't a device that you can go to Best Buy and buy. This isn't something that you're going to be able to order from Amazon. This was given out by Microsoft at their build conference this week in Anaheim. It's a developer's conference where they're handing out the first Windows 8 devices in a bid to get developers to actually make apps that will work on both tablets and PCs running Windows 8. So once you actually log into Windows 8, this is what you're going to get. And if it reminds you a lot of Windows Phone, well, it's supposed to. It has what Microsoft calls its Metro User Interface. And it's pretty slick, it's really responsive and, you know, looks really nice, scrolls really quickly. There's not a lot of apps here, for good reason. It's a really early developer build. Uh, this developer preview includes about 30 apps that Microsoft said were actually built by college interns over a couple months. They use that as an, as an example of how easy it is to build apps for this operating system. You're still going to have the familiar old desktop here. But the way that Microsoft is describing this is that the desktop is an app essentially. It's an app inside of Windows 8 and then of course you launch other apps here. Now while this is a very early developer build of Windows 8, there's a lot of cool stuff that's already being seen here. You can kind of see the direction that Microsoft is going in. One thing that really stands out to me is the ability to actually do multitasking really, really well. It's really simple. You can just swipe your finger in here from the right to pull in other apps. And then if you want to basically peg one to about a fifth of the screen, there it is. Pretty cool, pretty easy, and not something that you're seeing in any other mobile operating system yet. So not only is Microsoft giving developers a tablet, well, they're giving them a keyboard that looks a lot like Apple's keyboard, a stylus that, yes, does work with a tablet, a nice charging dock. All this stuff is included. Why? Well, because Windows 8, even on a tablet, can run with a mouse, a keyboard, a stylus, it's still a PC. It's still a PC operating system. So we have Windows 8, but what's this tablet actually made out of? Well, for one, it's a beast. It has an Intel Core i5 processor in here and HDMI ports. You have rear facing camera and front facing camera, even though there's no photo taking app developed yet. And there's these vents here on the back because there's actually fans inside of this tablet. It's really a PC sandwiched into a tablet form factor, but that's what Microsoft is going for here, an operating system that runs on both tablets and PCs. It's a different move than Apple's taking with having iOS running for tablets and phones and Mac OS X running for PCs. Here, it's a different route. Is it one that consumers actually want? Well, you know, it's not even out yet, so I guess we'll find out. I still have to play with it a lot more, and we'll see if developers buy in too.